Hey, we're on the road again. We're right now in Morris, Illinois, and we're going to be talking about something that I think is very important in, in this show segment. Before we get started, though, I want to let you know that I ran into a good friend, and uh, her name is Paige Todd. Paige Todd wants to say salute to you all. She is giving out uh, um, a free Christian website. Um, all you got to do is make a donation. You can send it to www.freechristian-website.com. That is www.freechristian-website.com. And she's going to put together five pages for you absolutely free. All you got to do is just make a little donation to her ministry. And she's going to take, now if you have to take your videos and put your videos on, that's going to be another $25 for setup fee. And, but get a hold of Paige Todd and her husband. They're going to take care of you right away. Hey, listen, I want to, it's been a while, been about a month before we talked before, but I want to talk today about something very important. You know, we're, we're seeing some wolves that are coming out right now. We're seeing other things that are coming out in this world that we really don't understand. Today, uh, there was an earthquake. That solar eclipse went over uh, England. Italy had one of the worst earthquakes around. It, it's amazing. Nostradamus uh, uh, predicted it, that it would happen May 20th, 2012. What I'm going to do, I'm going to talk today about something that's, that is, uh, this is not for the Christian. This is for the non-Christian. This is for the one that's going to see this message. I'm going to make up a DVD. I'm going to put preserve it. I'm going to make up some punches of them, and we're going to get them out to the people. Uh, tonight may be the night. We just don't know. We know that everything is getting ready to come apart. We know that tornadoes are forming in California, which they haven't seen. We know that tornadoes are forming all across the United States. You see the first uh, a hurricane forming in South Carolina yesterday uh, as this earthquake begins to hit, the, as the uh, uh, eclipse begins to hit its epoch. Uh, this is going to be the worst. That's what all nine of the planets, all ten planets are going to land. First thing I want to talk to you about is this. If you're a Christian, I want you to do this. I'm going to put this on Facebook and YouTube. Get yourself a DVD today. Today. Not tomorrow. may not be here. Today. I want you to record it. I want you to report to your loved ones. I want you to tell your loved ones how much you love them. Sorry that they didn't go. You know, you warned them. You told them about, about what was going to happen, and they just didn't believe you. Make up a, uh, make one up. Make it 20, 30. I don't care how long it takes you to get across what they're going to go through during the tribulation hour. It's important that they know that. Next thing I want you to do is I want you to get a Bible. I want you to get a Bible, and I want you to take that Bible, and I want you to put a note on top of that Bible. I want you to put a note on how you love them, what they meant for you on this earth. Uh, I just said goodbye to my, my siblings. Uh, Gene, if you're watching this, I know you and Tracy, uh, you know the Lord. I'm not worried about that. You, you guys, I'll see you up there. But understand something. If anybody doesn't, you're 13 years or older, you're accountable. And if you don't know the Lord Jesus Christ, and everything is unraveling, and you still have time to accept Jesus Christ in your heart, Please do it as soon as you possibly can. Because the sooner you do that, the sooner you're going to be able to have life and life more abundantly. I've been telling everybody. I've I've been telling everybody that one of the things that is is happening right now is that people think they still have time. This is it. This is what the devil's been trying to tell everybody. They still have time. I really want to say this: you you don't have time. It's a lie from the pits of hell. Um, right now, when the when the eclipse hits the top of the epic, uh, a bow and arrow will be shot by the Holy Spirit. The keys will be released. The Apollyon will be removed, and the souls will be drawn up. Uh, you can call it the snatching away, the rapture, whatever you want to call it. There might be an opportunity we could have for us to have one great revival as people begin to flock. So ministers, be ready for these people. People that know the Lord Jesus Christ in your heart, be ready for the people because this could be the last group that before the rapture occurs. Another thing I want to let you know, after you make the note, give the note details. Tell the people what they need to do if they don't have money. There will be people that don't have money, and I hate to say that, get it from somebody else's house. Because if they don't have the money, if they don't have the supplies, if they don't have everything ready, then they are going to be in trouble because they cannot buy or sell without it. The other thing I want to let you know is this, and this is very important. There will be two marks. One mark will be in your hand or your forehead. It's going to be the chip that they're talking about. That's the chip, is, is the microchip. The microchip is going to be the one uh, for the me medical records. 
Um, they say that in five years that thing will break, and that makes a lot of sense because it actually is going to break before that because we are in the three and a half years of the tribulation hour right now, no matter what you believe in, you know, what you see. Everything is happening. Jesus Christ had a three and a half year ministry. Obama mentioned the other day, he said uh, about a month ago, that uh, he was doing everything in his chronological order because he had an agenda that he had to do in three and a half years. Ha! Ah, it's amazing. He was uh, on, on uh, June... Uh, on on August, um, the 21st of um, he was inaugurated as the president in 2009. Isn't it amazing that uh, here we have a situation where we're coming to May 21st, 2012? Uh, I I don't believe in in coincidences. I do believe that. now. Getting back to your friends, um, tell your friends to uh, if you have to put seed out. Give them uh, things. Uh, put together a care package seed uh, that'll help them to do you know. Uh, a, a blankets if they if they need blankets if they need uh, if they need uh, medical uh, supplies whatever they need uh, if if your relatives have some kind of disease or something like that uh, give them uh, what they need try to provide for them everything they need there are Christians right now all over the world believe it or not that are buying enough supplies to help the people during the tribulation hour we don't want a lot of the tribulation saints to that's uh, people to die by the, you know, uh, even though they will die by the guillotine, I hate to say that because that, that's the way they're going to end up dying, uh, but we want to let them know that Jesus loves them very much, and Jesus is going to do everything that he possibly can uh, to uh, try to get things done in the order that we're getting it done. I want you to watch the signs today, you're going to see more signs come out. Um, I got a little prophet, as a matter of fact, she just called me a few seconds ago. Uh, I'm getting ready to wrap this show up, uh, and we're going to start some more uh, about, uh, I'm going to be speaking about uh, Revelation uh, 12. Uh, I'm going to give you a more of an insight into what Revelation 12 is all about. And again, uh, today uh, I'm on the road uh, again in Morris, Illinois. God bless you. Praise God. Hope I talk to you. If not, I will see you in heaven.